Hey guys, you like music? I do. I like music. Uh, and I know you like music because you're on part two of my four-part CD collection video showcase, whatever you want to call it. We talked about some good stuff last time. We finished with the band Cake. This That was the last one. The next video will go through the artists uh, C through G in my uh, collection. Let's just get... Let's just jump right into it. You're gonna see the camera's reflection. Can't do much about it. Jewel cases, am I right? See these Caravan Palace robot face. Uh, don't really know what you call the name of this album or just robot. Uh, looks like a record, but it isn't. It's a CD. Gotcha. This next one's very special. This is Car Seat Headrest Twin Fantasy Double Disc Edition. Now this has two versions of the album. This is one of my favorite albums, period. Uh, by Carsey Edwards, Will Toledo, whatever, look. So this album came out in 2011. That's this version. Uh, it was made by largely one dude in his bedroom. And then years later, when they got a lot more money, uh, him and the rest of the band made it again. Made, another, made the exact same album again in 2016. And now both albums are here. And if you look, you'll also see, yes, Signed, not just by one guy, by all of the band members. This was signed at a show. Um, I didn't get it signed. My friend Jen, who I mentioned in the previous video, she gave that to me as a birthday gift. I can't believe she actually got Will Toledo to sign it because from what I know, he's kind of a loner, but whatever. After that, we have... Catatonia, The Men in the Moon. I was given this at an open mic show in Pittsburgh years ago. How many years ago? Does this have, even have a date? 2017. So three years ago I was given this. I have not listened to it once. I'm sorry. But he, he, he literally gave one to everyone that was there. So I was just like, yeah, okay, I didn't ask for it, but I'll take it. I didn't say I would listen to it. Here is Cheem Downhill. Now this isn't signed by them, but that's because I bought a poster at the time I bought this. I saw them live and uh, I bought a poster with it and had them sign the poster. Hell yeah, baby! Chris Farron can't freaking die! This album, very good, got it signed. I remember. See you Yeah, no, he signed this, he signed my Antarctica Vespucci record that you saw before, and he also signed the other album that he came out with, Born Hot. I bought this online, then I saw him at another show, and he signed it there, too. I've seen Chris Farron live more than any other artist that doesn't come from Pittsburgh. Like, unless they're a local act, I've seen Chris Farron more times than them. Which is weird, because he's from Florida. I keep looking over on the viewfinder instead of the lens. I don't know which one you guys like more. So I'll keep switching between them. Crystal Castles. This is the only Crystal Castles album I have. Now this is a very special album to me, uh, specifically. This is Doggy Heaven by Curse Words. Uh, you, the camera's not really picking it up that well. It is signed by them. This was a local act from Pittsburgh. I made a music video for them, uh, just because I felt like it. This is that nice little opening right here. A bunch of pictures of the band members. There's Basir. Uh, there's Cal, the bassist. Where's Billy? Right there. Right there is Billy. They're not a band anymore. They stopped making music. <laughs> At their last show, I did the vocals for the track that I did the music video for. <laughs> Yeah. 
Anyway, moving on. Damon Albarn, Everyday Robots. Man, I remember getting this when it came out. A lot of people say shit like this about depressing albums. I was going through some stuff when this album came out. It really spoke to me. It was I was in a really dark place, you know, and it just really helped me get out of that hole. You know, Damon Albarn saved my life. He didn't. Mouse in the Mask by Danger Doom. An underrated uh, Doom project. MF Doom does goes great on this, and also Danger Mouse does the production on this album. The same guy that did the production for Welcome Bells, for Demon Days by Gorillaz, Modern Guilt by Beck. Also did production for this. Um, one problem. I'm missing the disc. I think I gave this to someone. I gave this to a friend, Ben. Ben, I don't I don't think you're watching this, Ben, but you have my Danger Doom disc in your car. I know you do. Please give it back. I don't even know what state you're in anymore. Moving on. Plans. Death Cab for Cutie. This was uh, donated in uh, at a Goodwill while I was working at it a few years back. Uh, Death Cab for Cutie is fine. I think it's all right. I ha I think I've only listened to the CD like once or twice. I've listened to the album maybe like five times in my total life. I can't really tell you anything about that album. Wow, we what's this? Deltron 3030. Uh, Deltron 3030. Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Um, and Kid Koala. Yeah, it's just Kid Koala, the producer, uh, who did the production for the first Gorillaz album. Del, you know, from Gorillaz, like, uh, Clint Eastwood, Rock the House. It sounds good. It's a concept album. It's very cool. And they made a sequel almost, a de like, over a decade later. Event 2, sequel to the first Deltron album. Pretty cool. Introducing another album that was recommended to me by Jen. Uh, good stuff. Instrumental hip-hop. I like it. Classic. Classic. Um, Eels, Daisies of the Galaxy. Whenever I have a friend over and I'm like, hey, pick a random CD that you don't recognize and let's just see what it sounds like just based off the, the spine or the cover. People always fucking grab for this one. I got it because I heard the singles on Spotify and I thought that the singles were good and I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy the album before I even hear the rest of it. Ooh, ooh, everything, everything. Fever Dream, signed by all four members. This was signed at order, got it signed for pre-ordering the album. The Flaming Lips, Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots. Good album. Nice, nice. Very classic, honestly, very good shit. Flaming Lips Fight Test. This is a single from Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots. Yeah, they have like a bunch of different versions of songs that are on the album already, like, okay? I mean, I got it because it was Three dollars. Are you noticing a pattern here? I'm dropping stuff. Flight of the Concords. I told you I was freaky. This is a comedy music duo from New Zealand, I believe. Nice little opening right there. It's gatefold. I don't think that's the right term for CDs, gatefolds, but whatever. Nice, nice. You, uh, you, you take... It's a strangely complicated packaging for such a... Like, it's not that special of an album or anything, but inside, got tears of a rapper, you know, and then there's the album. There it is. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. It was tucked away in this. Got a little booklet. For, I, out of all the albums I have, I would not have guessed that I told you I was freaky by Fly the Concords had this, like, amount of detail in its packaging, but it's it's very neat, uh, very cool. Foster the people, torches, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, people, people know Foster the people, right? This is honestly the only album by them that I actually fully enjoy, uh, which is why it's the only one I have by them. And now, we it's about that time, ladies and gentlemen. We've reached the gorilla section, here we go. First one, obviously, a little cracked. I don't fucking care. Does the CD work? Yes, it does. After that, G sides. Ooh, whoa, wow. G sides. I like it. <laughs> Gorillas vs. Space Monkeys. Leica, come home. This is a very. This is an underrated like dub remix of the first album. Every track on there, I'm pretty sure, has been remixed, and uh, it sounds good. Love spacing out to that shit. Steam days. 
Demon Deos uh, in here. Yeah, it's Demon Days. Yeah, I have Demon Days. Yes, I have. I have it. I also have this. What is this? I saw this at the exchange, and I had never seen it before. It's a good thumbnail pick, right? This is a limited edition of Demon Days. It has like, it's part DVD. Like if you put this CD in a DVD player, it'll like play some music videos or like uh, commentary, animatics, stuff like that. My favorite part is that it, you can literally choose whatever member to be like the cover. Like this is the cover now of Demon Days or, no, I actually I want Murdoch. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. And now that's the cover of the album. Like. That's smart, and I like it, and it works. Decides, one of my favorite EPs, period. This is 13 tracks on the first disc. You open it up, that's disc one. <gasps> Ignore that. There's the first disc, but then, that's not all. Whoa, other side, disc two. Plastic Beach. I do not know why on earth this is in this kind of packaging, but it is. Uh, it's flimsy, it's strange, it's hard to read the spine when it's like pushed up against other albums, but it's a good album. So, I have it. A fall. Very underrated. People talk shit on this way too much for my liking, to being honest. Again, flimsy um, cardboard packaging, maybe because they didn't want to do plastic, because Plastic Beach was so pro-environment anti-plastic. Here's the single collection. Um, this was the second CD I ever bought. Crazy, huh? My first album that I ever bought was The Best of Blur, and then the second album I ever bought was the singles collection. But here it is. I was a kid, I was look looking at the music videos, and I was like, I want the songs that are in the videos. And that's what this is, so perfect. Ooh. Ooh. Humans. Um, my least favorite Gorillaz album, but still alright. I like, focus, damn you. There you go. Those who fear music are dangerous. I agree. Uh, this is the super deluxe version, which means it has two discs. Uh, it has a disc in here, this disc, and a disc in here, this disc. So, two discs. Uh, and then in the middle, in the middle of here is a nice booklet full of art. Very nice. I can take a Take a look through here and see all the nice shit that they got going on. And finally for today, fellas, I... Sorry, I gotta end it, but you know, there's only so many albums that are out there that I own. But uh, the last Gorillaz album that I have, and now, now, the album's good. Uh, it's a little better than Humans, in my opinion, but not by much. Join me next time when we go through the artists J through M uh, in part three of my album CD showcase. I honestly didn't think anyone would watch these because who cares what some random dude owns? Whatever. You know, you guys are watching it, so whoever's watching this right now, you're watching this. I made this video so you could watch it. I love you. Absolutely.